Okay, there's lots of really great stuff that happened this week. Like we, I spoke this week at the conference center and it was Valentine's. We went to the temple and ate tacos. So before I get to like the bigger stuff, there's lots of little updates. So the first update I'll start with was probably not the greatest update. I had a few breakdowns this week. <laughs> just wasn't happy with how my recovery process from surgery was going but I'm over it. Moving on my second update is my friends from journey 5 came over and they brought my their entire like new arrival collection. Oh my gosh they're so pretty. Flower power. Nice. I am crying over this. Why would you cry? <laughs> so beautiful. I could probably wear this for Valentine's Day. But I just don't like having a lot of stuff. I'm not like a stuff person. I'm super into simplify and reduce all the time. So anytime someone gets me stuff, I always get rid of stuff. And so I went through my closet and got rid of a whole bunch of clothes and I dropped them off to a young woman in our ward. We are delivering thank you notes, clothes, pots and pans, people in the hood. <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd you say to me? You're in trouble, boy. What'd you say to me? <laughs> oh! Dad just threw a diaper at you! What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, ben is amazing at so many things. One thing he's not as great at is driving in reverse. <laughs> what? You're gonna go ahead and drive. Another little update is we got a new rug and I know that this doesn't sound update worthy but I was so excited to get a runner for our hallway because I've been wanting one for like a year and so I finally did it. <gasps> oh my gosh we have to pick up Gracie I can't open it right now. I'm dying. You're gonna have to wait till we get home. Is that like the same one we have? Similar. What time is it? Do we have time? We don't have time. Okay. Hey, I heard you singing. Did I just find it? Hold it, Wow, look at that. Wait, ready? surgery and recovering Ben and I got a little obsessed with America's Next Top Model. Jordan. Jordan. Jinx. 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 Oh, no! What crap. the heck? It ruined our lives. It's three seasons straight. But now I am back to work from surgery and now we're not watching it anymore and I have my life back and it feels amazing. Also, it was my sister-in-law's birthday this week and that just looked a little bit like this. Also, one of the bigger updates was I got to speak at LDS Business College's weekly devotionals. And usually their devotionals are for general authorities or like these big time like CEOs, just like really important people. But they asked me to be one of their speakers and it was awesome because I got to speak at the conference center, which was 
amazing. I'm about to show you my dress secret. Ready? <laughs> They're spandex shorts with lace on it. I wear them underneath all of my skirts in case I like bend over or want to sit Indian style. Uh, that way there are no visual surprises for anyone. I get asked all the time if I get nervous uh, and I never do. I never get nervous. Everything about it is completely thrilling to me. I actually feel most like myself when I'm speaking. I don't know. People are dying. They are? Yeah. Good. Out How are you? So Bruce great. Chris. Thank you for having Very me. Very nice to meet you and Likewise. excited to have you here. Oh, good. So excited. Nice. And my wife. So nice. Hi. And I was still on my painkillers, but it went really well. And it was cool because I got to eat lunch afterward with some faculty and staff and the president and his wife of the college. <laughs> And this week was Valentine's Day. Well, we looked everywhere and we couldn't find Batman Valentine's. So Gracie picked out minions. And what are we doing? Minky snake! <laughs> snake? Uh, a mini. Oh. <laughs> We're just adding suckers to them. Are you excited uh, for tomorrow? <laughs> what does that mean, yes? <laughs> and Ben and I are mutually just not crazy about Valentine's Day. But I am a little crazy about decorating. For a few bucks, just to add a little magic in our kids' life from decorating, like, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> What's in there? Ew. Ew. Gracie, what's today? Valentine! <laughs> Say Valentine! Happy birthday! Happy Valentine! <laughs> All right. Hey boo, what's a love book? You guess have to see what it is. A book about love? About the couple. This is the story of Benjamin and Al. We ate steak and I had talked the whole night. Wow, I like him. I wish he would just shut up and kiss me. What the heck? <laughs> love at your hands. Oh my, do you use jerkins? <laughs> Yeah. I love how funny you get <laughs> when you're angry. LinkedIn picture? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Scandalous. Yes. <laughs> you broke your sweater, babe. We all love her uh, glasses. Oh, she left them on all day. She did. <laughs> Like it? Does it look good? What are you doing? Valentine's Day date, which 
well, is exciting in it of its own. Yes. But not just any temple. We are going to the Ochre Mountain Temple, which we haven't been to what? in years, which is the one we got married in. All right. So windy. Horchata. 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 Let's do left-handed. Left-handed? Let's do double hand. Right? I clear it then more. Touch. Down. Kiss. Go. Winner. His thumb looks like a toe. Toe thumbs. We call him his toe thumbs. Look. Kiss it. No, I don't want to kiss it. Doesn't it look like a big toe? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's a day well spent at grandma's house. <laughs> I just can't think of anything better to do for Valentine's Day than temple and tacos, right? <laughs> so that's kind of what happened this week and I'm so excited for this week's spiritual message and montage. I don't know why, but I'm so excited for it. It is inspired by Valentine's Day and it is all about love. And so before I get into that, I just wanted to thank you. This is so new to me and it's still growing and it still feels really small and it's so interesting to try something new and when you do that and to have people watch you learn as you go. <laughs> but I just wanted to say thank you for being so nice. <laughs> thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and that's it. That's what I wanted to say. So let's go ahead and cue the music. Whoop. I like this song. <laughs> I like the song we picked out this week. Okay, and go ahead and roll this week's message. Love is actively thinking of the other person. It's smiling at the corks and looking for the good in them. It's holding hands at the grocery store and driving the long way home just to talk longer. It's every bit of the random text messages and surprise back rubs. It's looking for and creating as many opportunities as we can every day to laugh even during the hard times. Because it's a whole lot of cutting loose and not taking things so seriously. It's blasting our favorite songs and dancing in the kitchen. It's consistently creating new inside jokes and daily makeout sessions. It's cheersing our cups together before eating and holding hands while praying and seeking out God as a team. It's viewing our spouse less as a business partner and more of the best friend they were when we first got married. A best friend on the most wild and amazing adventure of our life. It's overcoming outside opinions and not letting others stop us from creating the life we want. And it's knowing that this is all worth it. Because life is better experienced with someone else. Experiences are richer when shared. Trials are easier as a team. Strength is there when we are weak. Humor is perfectly there for the good and the bad. A change of course is more of an adventure, and learning new things from them and with them is magic. And the growth you experience over the years are the gems in life. Life is what we make time for, and we should make time for whatever we want. We should every day choose the things and the people we love.